As you know, this is a summer camp, a run-down summer camp. Now, the main function of summer camps is to give young people the opportunity to experience outdoor living. The main function of this summer camp is to make money. Now, if you took a good look around, you observe that there are no young people here. The Camp Malibu is in trouble. You mean they're going to close down the camp? No, 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 no. Not unless I have to. But I have a plan, and I need everybody's help. I have here a list of influential past alumni. I'm going to invite these kids up here for a weekend reunion at our expense. That's your plan? I don't get it. I do, and I think it sucks. It's very simple, Dr. Fox. While they're here, we give them a big sob story about the condition of the camp. You know, really lay it on. Tell them without their help, the camp will fold. We really need their family's financial support. I don't think the kids are going to fall for it. Sure they will, because that's part of the plan. We make it fun, competitive, women's lib, boys against the girls. <laughs> Whoever does the best job will win a prize. What kind of prize? Ah, a certificate of achievement. Be careful, that's liable to break you. Let me congratulate you on your brilliant but larcenous plan, Herman. Thank you, doctor. Now, everybody, let's get to work and save Camp Malibu! the Beverly Hills Hotel. Thank you, John, sir. Now, could you direct me to the nearest photo lounge? This place looks like a refugee camp. Speaking of refugees, look at those two. Ginny Solms? Yeah, you're in cabin number two. Thanks. You're a horse, right? It's Gable, Clark. Uh, Web four. Yeah. I'll call you when I need you. Don't I even get a kiss? Yeah, 
Yeah, I guess so. Here you are, you little squirrel. Would you get your ass in the kitchen? I have a lot of cooking to do. You call it cooking. I call it revolting. But you get uh, in, into that kitchen before I flatten you like a pancake. Ah, yes, one of your specialties. Frisbees. Come on. Hi, I'm the camp doctor. Cindy Curtis. Hi, hey, good to see you again. Welcome back to Camp Malibu. <laughs> oh, hey, Herman. Herman. All right, Herman. All right. There's a strange character over there. I've never seen him before. Yeah, boy, boy. You take care of this, honey. Yeah. Well, hello. Uh, hello there. I'm Herman Samuel. Can I help you with anything? Uh, no, no, thank you. Uh, then just what the hell are you doing? Oh, uh, me? Uh, looking. Just looking. Looking. Okay. Looking okay, for what? Oh, you know, gold, silver, molybdenum, possibly even oil. You mean here? Uh, maybe, maybe not. One never knows. <laughs> Just who or what are you? Oh, me? I am a geologist. Well, uh, <clears throat> look here, Mr. Geologist. This is my property. So if you should find anything, you let me know. Yeah, I'll even give you 10%. Make it 40. 20. 60. 50. Thank you. Hi, it's good to see you again. Steve, same here. Matt. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, it's Horst, right? No, no, it's Haley. Haley Mills. You're Jerry, right? What you got there? Nothing. It looks like nothing to me. Cool it. Nobody knows, and that's the way I want to keep it. Partners? Partners. Uh-oh, the head honchos. Bum, 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 I'll keep him away. Don't worry about it. Hello, Mr. Samuel. I'm getting worse. Tidal wave. Call me Herman Matt. Glad you decided to come up. We hope that joining our team here is in your future plan. Uh, speaking of my future plans, I... Aren't you in school? Yeah, I'm registered and enrolled and everything. I'm just not really sure what I'm going to do about... About what? Well, I've never really been able to talk about this. I don't know why. I know it sounds silly. But for some reason, Herman, I feel I can talk to you. Well, I'm... Uh, I'm glad you feel that way, Matt. Well, the fact is, I just really don't know what to do with my life. I mean, the past seems so well laid out. College, law school... Job waiting, family, marriage, senility. Well, what do you really want? Well, that's just it. I don't know. I mean, I could get a job. I could travel. I could bum around Europe, the United States. Hell, I could even join the Navy or the Army. I just don't know. Well, you seem like a bright young man. I'm sure that whatever you decide will be the right thing. Thanks a lot. I just can't get over how much she's changed. Kim? Nah, she's changed all right. But I have a feeling it means trouble. I'd give anything to look like that. All right, girls. I just want to explain a few things to you. First, as some of you are still underage, and I am still responsible for you, there will be no boys or men in this cabin. Understood? Oh, wow. Second, you will be in your beds alone by lights out. <laughs> Does that mean we can't even fool around with each other? And last, you will keep this cabin neat. There is no maid here, and this especially means the bathroom, okay? Be very careful how you dispose of things. What does she mean, Cindy? Cotex. Any other questions? Yeah. Do we get milk and cookies before you tuck us in? Real cute, Kim. As you were. Boy, she hasn't changed much in 10 years. But we have. That's the problem. Yeah, well, I came up here to have fun, and nobody's going to stand in my way. We're all up here to have fun. Well, she's only trying to do her job. Yeah, well, I don't know about you people, but I'm not about to stay cooped up in this hen house. Ciao.
I assume this is my bed. Yours in the bed bags. Very funny. That's exactly what they said about you. Fuck all you guys. I'm first. Sloppy seconds. Come on, that's enough. Jesus. I don't understand it. The guy doesn't want to be here. What is he doing here? Maybe he's in a self-abuse. Isn't that when you get hair in your palms? That could be it. We're going to check his palms for stubble. It could be. He can say this. Leave me alone. I never wanted to come here ever. They made me. Now I understand. They made him. They made him. Ah, well, they didn't do a very good job. Why don't you shut up, you fruit? What'd you call me? You heard me. Yeah! I had to put this where the sun don't shine. Nome, Alaska. Yes, yes, yeah. Oh, shut up, 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 shut what is this? Why, it's a giant dildo. Who does this belong to? A giant. She lives right it's over there. It's mine. Oh. All right, guys, will you cool it? Hey, will you just cool it? Hey. Yeah. Guys, is this the right place? AJ Parnelli asshole. How are you? How's the van, <laughs> Speedo? Oh, it is fine, and I am ready for action. For action, you've come to the wrong spot. Your bed, master man. The very last one. You'll be sleeping on top of Sir Gerald the Jackoff. <laughs> they, they made him come here. Fuck all of you. Fuck all of you. You guys wouldn't believe what happened to me on the way up here. Huh? Try us. Well, I picked up this real looker of a hitchhiker. I mean, real looker. She had a pair on her that were killing her. Anyway, she gets in. Now, I'm riding along, minding my own business, when all of a sudden I look over and bingo! She's completely naked! No! Oh, she was a real nympho! What are you doing? Watching you. What for? I think you're very sexy. That's what for. Oh, shit. I was hoping this wouldn't be one of those weekends. I don't understand. Well, every so often we get a group of girls up here and all they want to do is ball the lifeguard. It's getting to be a joke. I can assure you, it's no joke. I hope whoever is responsible for this is satisfied. Did someone think to go get George? No, of course not. I appreciate you two volunteering. Hurry up before it gets worse. Go on! Go on! Hi. Come on! Chicken. Hey guys, have you seen George? No. Gee, what a coincidence. Matt here was just talking about you two. I bet. Hey, you don't have to believe me. Ask him. Yeah, that's right. Um, I, I was just telling him about the two foxy chicks I saw. I'm Cindy. This is Jenny. Hi there. I'm Ricky. <laughs> Would you two lovely ladies like to join us for a walk and maybe... Gee, uh, we'd like to, but we really do have to find George. See you around. <laughs> Well, there is something. Uh, it, it's sort of hard to talk about, but uh, I think I can feel real comfortable talking to you. Well, yeah, well I'm, I'm glad you feel that way. Well, it's just that I don't know what to do with God. Uh... You're crazy. I could lose my job for one thing. It ain't much, but I enjoy it. Don't worry. I'm not going to tell. Well, that's because there isn't going to be anything to tell. Oh, now do I turn you off that much? Oh, uh, now, don't go get your hopes up. Excuse me, uh, have you seen George? He's not here. I know where he is. I'll take you to him. Bye.
George, can I be next? Please be gentle, George. May I please have your attention? Uh, please be reminded that our laboratory system here is only suited for normal use. Any abnormal use of the facilities will result in problems. Uh, one more thing. Dinner will be in one hour, and there's a misprint on your schedules. Please change that line that reads clothing optional to read, uh, wear whatever you like. Little hands. And seated next to him is Dick, the lifeguard. <laughs> and right there is Joe, the boys' counselor. Oh, hey, Joe. And Alice, the girls' counselor. If you have any problems, you'll find Dr. Fox here in the infirmary. And this is my wife, Sharon. Uh, down, down, down. And Roger. As you know, we've planned a number of the activities you used to enjoy so much as campers. So tonight, we're going to have a campfire with hot cocoa and marshmallows. <laughs> Whoopee. Uh, right now, I would like to take this opportunity to personally thank each and every one of you for your presence here this weekend. As I'm sure you're aware, this camp, Camp Malibu, has a long and hallowed tradition. And the responsibility for keeping that tradition alive has now fallen into our hands. He's going to do that football routine again. We're now at a crossroads. This could be the final quarter of our last game. What did I tell you? All that you see here today, all that you've remembered with fondness these past years is in danger of being lost. <laughs> now, the opponent is formidable. It's apathy, decay, lack of support, both in terms of numbers and money. Does he want money from us? Now, we want you on our team. There are plenty of spots left open on our roster for you, for your parents, for your brothers and your sisters. Could have my sister for two bucks. For if we don't join together, we will lose. We must commit ourselves to the fight. Not only for our own benefit. I think I'm going to throw up. Yeah, me too. But for those of our children. You know? The future generation. Someone should turn when going gets him tough, off. tough get Ooh, going. Stop. The future is in your hands. We can't allow our opponent to keep us from our goal. We must drive hard, harder, harder still until we can see the light. Cross that goal line, raise our arms in triumph, and smell the sweet smell of success. Go! Look, I think he's trying to use us, and we shouldn't stand for it. He invited us up here as guests to have fun, not to work. Well, come on, let's look at it from Herman's point of view. I mean, we could be his last hope. We should be selfish and just think of ourselves. Yeah, could be the end of Camp Malibu. How would you live with that on your conscience, Ricky? Horace is right, you guys. It won't kill us to help out a little bit. We owe it to him. It's a free weekend. Besides, you guys could use the exercise and work off some of that baby fat. Oh, right. shit. Well, Matt, what do you think? Well, I think Ricky's got some good points. Oh, come on. Although, I see where the girls are coming from. Well, I don't know. What the hell? Well, what I don't understand is what exactly does Herman want from us? Slave labor. Oh, come on, Ricky. Do you want this camp to go under? Is that really what you want? Well... Well, I just don't believe him. That's all. I think we ought to have an orgy. Dive into some thighs. Oh, come on. Be serious. I am serious. Orgy. Orgy. Oh, now oh, I am oh, ready. Taking yeah. things off. Oh, yeah. woman. I want to. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Up. I ain't got all night. Well, that's right. There's a, uh, a full moon out tonight. And uh, you got a date with the wolf man. I didn't know you liked hairy men. Don't worry, I won't cut in on your territory. <laughs> well, you got me there. If I had my choice, I'd rather bang the wolf man than you. You couldn't bang a cap gun. 
Listen, I'm going to be back in about 15 minutes, and if this place isn't cleaned up, it's your ass. The only ass you can get is in Tijuana. And then the poor dumb animal has to be strapped down. Let's get this over with. Come on. I guess I'm just not cut out for that sort of thing. Yes, no, that's okay. Don't. Is there anything I can do to make up for it? What, 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 what do you mean? Would you like to kiss me? Now? Oh, is there anywhere we can go? Right, 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 right now? Yes, yes, before I explode. Oh, think of someplace. Someplace. Someplace, someplace. Someplace, someplace. 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 I got it, I got it, I got it. It's very cold. Don't worry, I'm very hot. Yeah, all right. Oh, oh get off my clothes. Take my clothes off, please. Yes, take my clothes. Clothes off. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes, I love it. Love it. Look at it. Oh, oh, take me. Take me. Take me. Take it where? This is all there is. Oh, down there. Take me. Take me. Oh, oh, oh. Roger! Roger! Oh, come on, give the guy a break. Out. I said out. I hope he gets what he's laughing. Oh, I'm not here. Oh, I'm not here. Oh, I'm not here. Oh, I'm not here. Oh, I'm not Stars shine in the sky Country nights Alone, baby, you and I Country nights I'm a city boy and you're a pretty girl Here in the moonlight We're together on a country night Country nights There's a message in the breeze Country nights And it's calling to you and me Country nights I'm a hoping boy and you're a wishing girl Here in the moonlight We're all alone on a country night Out here no words need to be spoken Oh no I can see it all in your eyes tonight Yeah, while the trees are all sleeping You and I will be promised keep it Hey, let's say you and me have our own private little party What kind of little party did you have in mind? We'll think of something Oh, why don't you join the group? I don't like crowds. Was there anything wrong? Look, I know you're only trying to do your camp mother bit, but uh, believe me, I've been taking care of myself a long time. Mm. Oh, I'm sure you have. How about another shot? You had your shot. College, law school, job waiting, family, marriage, senility. Herman. Herman. Yeah, not now, dear. I've got too much on my mind. You really think so? I guess you're right. And you know, I feel a lot better about things after talking to you. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. I really think you're right. Having any luck? Sure, sure. <laughs> Some bullshit. Well? Not really. See those three girls over there? Hey, do you know them? 
That depends on what you mean by now. I mean, you mean intellectually or carnally or biblically well, do or... do you? Yeah, but I'd like to. <laughs> Come on, I'll show you. Master at work. Hello, ladies. It's Mike. My name is Horace. They call me Horace. Would like to know why they call me Horse? Because they can't call me anything else once they see the size of my kakosi here. Right in here. Everybody look. Looking. Everyone looking? So what makes you think I'm interested? A little bird told me. And my, how that little bird is All growing. Right. All right, so you turn me on. There's, there's lots of girls turn me on. Listen, if you don't stop that, I'm going to come all over my pants here. All right, but that's just a sample. All right, all right. Just tell me where you want me, and I'll be there. Oh, no. You tell me. We're together on a country night. Here in the moonlight, we're all alone on a country Like the things had changed, the more things remain the same. Yeah. No, I mean, like this weekend, it seems like time has stood still. Uh, like we were ten years, we were ten years back. Matt. What? Will you stop talking and kiss me? Uh, time out to breathe. Time back in. <laughs> What do you mean, that's enough? Haven't we just started? Bye-bye. Bye-bye? Clean up, I gotta dump a load. Holy shit, my bed's full of crap. Yo! What is bed. going on? Sounds like somebody's getting murdered. Somebody in the goddamn toilets. <laughs> All right, I want everybody in bed right now, and you'll clean up in the morning. Well, my bed's full of fucking shaving cream. Well, look at it this way. You'll be able to shave in bed in the morning. <laughs> All the bed frames are Vaseline. Sorry, a little Vaseline never hurt anybody. This is so true, you city savage, you. <laughs> oh, a good night. Did you do this? What makes you think I did it? What makes you think I did it? Sacramento, California, I've been short-shaded! God damn it! I've been short-shaded, too! Good night, guys. Oh, the girls did this. What? The girls did this. I'm positive they did. What should we do about it? Glad you brought that up. We've got to get back at them. Yeah, how? Panty ring. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whip, 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 whip. After tells, that's yes, where I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do it now, hey, right man. on. Guys, guys, guys. Did I ever tell you about the time that I picked up the stewardess? No. Great. Well, I was flying from San Fran to L.A. when this creature of incredible beauty comes up to me and she says, Hey, T.W.A. coffee, T.W.A. milk, or T.W.A. tea, and that means me. Shut up. Does this article of bad taste belong to anyone? Oh, sorry. Well, try to keep your dirty laundry off my bed, okay? It was clean until you touched it. Don't you girls have anything better to do than to talk about me? Oh, we weren't saying anything bad. Even if you were coming from you, it wouldn't mean anything. 
Now, wait a minute, Kim. If you're going to pick on anybody, pick on me. I wouldn't waste my time. Looking at you broads, it's no wonder all the guys are chasing after me. <laughs> That's a laugh. You throw yourself at every guy in this camp. By tomorrow, you'll have to go to the butcher for fresh meat. Uh-oh. So these two broads and me, right? They begged me to drive to the secluded spot where nobody would bother us. And then we all get into the back, and, uh, well, you guys can imagine all the possibilities. You guys want me to describe everything in detail? Are you sure? Hey, where is everybody? Those bastards left without me! Everything under control? Well, for the time being, yes. Good, good. Keep up the good work. Okay. Joe. Yeah, Herman? Yeah. Boys cabin in shape? <laughs> I guess so. Ah, that's good. <laughs> we could all use a nice, peaceful evening. Jesus, the whole fucking staff is out there. Look. We gotta create a diversionary tactic to ruin the whole surprise. We'd start a fire. Yeah, we burned a camp down. I like it. <laughs> Wait! There's this trash can over there. If we throw this little ruby in there, Whew. explosion should distract them long enough. Any yeah. volunteers? Hey, you bastards left me. Yeah, it was a defensive tactic. You I'll were do it. us to death. I'll go away, it. go away. You sure? Kidding. Does Dolly Parton sleep on our back or what? He's a brave kid, isn't he? are getting their rocks off of their panty rings. Oh, yeah? Aren't you a little afraid of losing your panties? No, because I never wear them. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh, oh. oh. oh yeah. Oh. Okay, is everybody ready? Yep. Uh -huh. Come on. Cindy, are you sure we ought to be doing this? Muffy, if we only did the things we ought to do, life would be awfully boring. Let's go. All right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, let's get out of here. Oh, no, let's have round two. Not now. Well, why? If we get caught, I'll just tell him it was me who raped you. Very funny. Put this on and get your ass out the window. Boy, you sure know how to ruin a good time. Hey, we're gonna have to do this again sometime. Yeah, well, don't count on it. Oh. Uh... 
you were working. And I know who you were working on. You do? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, and I want what's inside here. I want it. I want it. Oh, and look at this. Look who can fit into this. Can you believe it? Hold it. Hold it. These are my shorts. I've lost it. You are a perverse. Sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, But look at this stuff. I got this. And it's that one. Yes. Oh, yeah. May I please have your attention? The schedule for this morning is as follows. Calisthenics at the main athletic field in 10 minutes. Everyone is expected to participate. Breakfast comes next, followed by group leadership training projects. Uh, one more thing. Will anyone who has in his possession the under, uh, the panty, the, uh, Please return all items of clothing, not your own, to a table that's been set up under the totem pole so the rightful owners may claim their property. And so, in keeping with the themes of this weekend, commitment, leadership, responsibility. Here it comes again. We've created a leadership training activity designed to reinforce your pride in your surroundings. Not only that, also pride and accomplishment. Now, each staff member will call out the names on his or her list, and the group that does the best job will win a prize. Probably another glorious weekend in Camp Malibu. Yeah, and second prize is probably a whole month. I'm not real sure I understand what we're supposed to do. I'm afraid they're going to put us to work. Well, guys, no way! men of cabin two are having a little contest of our own i already have here let's see 10 people signed up that's one dollar per person winner take all what do we got to do <laughs> we'll refer to it as a fantastic feces contest uh i don't get it you will my dear the rules are very simple the longest one wins and it's got to be in one piece and with bertha's food already in our stomach we can expect some real whoppers who wants to sign up i still don't get it still and so, since all work and no play make us all very dull, fun is the order of the day for the rest of the afternoon. Oh, boy. Can't wait to hear this one. Now, the staff and I have organized a series of contests in which... Speaking of contests, who's winning? Well, so far, horses, but just by a fraction of an inch. And to add to the spice of the proceedings, the two teams will be... Huh? The boys against the girls. Yeah, I wouldn't mind being up against her. The contest consists of various athletic and non-athletic events. How could we be expected to compete against the boys? I don't know, but it could be fun. Okay, everybody, let the competition begin! <laughs>
pronouncer Herman Sen, inviting you to join us for the first annual Camp Malibu Competition Day. This event not only attracts multitudes of great athletes who have at one time or another roamed these allied paths at... <laughs> Judges have decided the final contest will be a flag football game. The rules are set. The boys must pull out both the girls' flags while the girls merely have to touch the boys with one hand. Give me a G! Give me an R! Come on at me, baby doll. I'm ready. Give me an R! Uh, the one over there. Give me an L! I don't care which one gets it. I'm ready for more. Give me a Down in the middle. Make you the same. You got okay, it. Okay, I'll take a hand off to you. Okay, ready? Ready, break! Oh. Kill him, get him, wait, pillage, jam, crap. Okay, you guys, we gotta win this thing. You gotta be kidding. They're not gonna let us win. Trust me, the first thing we gotta do is work on our onside kick. What's an onside kick? Well, I don't know, but we'll figure it out later. Ooh, sa, sa, sa. Ooh, sa, sa, sa. Hit him over the head with a big jump, sa, sa. This'll probably be the last play of the game, girl. Okay, now listen. We're gonna run a triple reverse. Uh, are you out of your mind? Probably. Ready? Ready! 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 Ready!
doctor said if you could check out my ankle, I think I sprained it. Here? No. In the infirmary. Oh. Uh, now tell me, um, how long have you been having these pains? Oh, well, it happened now. Uh, very recently. Don't be a bad sport. Cheer up. For what? Well, maybe for me. <laughs> the competition isn't over yet. What do you mean? Hey, Ricky, get in here. Terry's about to make history. I'll bet the Guinness World Book of Records has nothing like this on its hands. Oh. <clears throat> I love the way this feels against my naked body. Oh. Well, then, uh, uh, where's that problem? Well, you see, Doctor, I, uh, I've got this itch, and nobody I know has been able to scratch it yet. Well, uh, have you, uh, tried calamine lotion? No. Have you tried this? Uh, well, Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner right. at 13 inches and still moving around on the bathroom floor. The winner of Cabin 2's first annual Fantastic Feces Contest is... Jerry! Yeah. If you ladies think that was gross, wait till you find out what you'll be measuring in tonight's contest. Yeah. Yeah. Gently Mary, 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 to congratulate the girls on their victory in today's competition. Yeah! 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 Now, the announcement you've all been waiting for. Tonight's activity will be a disco! <laughs> and the theme for the disco will be Knights of Arabia. And what does that mean? Everyone will have to improvise some sort of costume within the bounds of good taste. And the winners will receive a, uh, receive a prize so fabulous, I can't tell you what it is. <laughs> yeah, probably the same prize you forgot to award at lunch. Muffy, you take the spaghetti, you take the punch, Ginny the pie. Ready? All right.
Coach. We're getting there. I like them better. Jeez, I'm not gonna trust in those dumb brags. It really figures, Pam. You can never get into anything, can you? No, Jimmy, I can't. Do you really think you'd be able to teach me how to dance? Oh, of course, Muffy, no fraud. Hey, what do you guys think about this? Uh, 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 uh. You. Sit down. Linda, we are going to make you beautiful. These have got to come off. But I can't see anything. I don't care. <laughs> Fake it. And the hair is going to come down. My mom Ooh. likes this hairdo. It's true. Mommy isn't at camp with you. I got to get going now. Well, what's the hurry? I got to figure out my costume for tonight. You should, too. Just one more. See ya. Okay. needed a good cry. Why? Oh, lots of reasons. Things you probably wouldn't understand until you get a little older. Like what? Oh, things like loneliness and getting old. When I see all you kids with all that vitality, I get envious. Do you know what that's like? You've still got time to change your life. And it's too late for me. Why? Oh, Matt, look at me. I'm 35 years old. And I'm losing my looks. I think you're a very beautiful woman. Oh, you're just saying that. No, I really mean it. I really do. Kiss me. It's all right. There's uh, no Ms. one around. Ms. Samuels, I, I don't, you know. Oh, Matt, easy, easy, Matt. I'm sorry. No, no I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I just... Don't be sorry, Matt. I'm Matt. Mrs. Samuels? Matt, you... come here. Come
butter. Yeah. Oh, sure. I love to dance. Dan? Are you okay? So quiet. I'm sorry. I'll get with it. Hi, I'm Steve, and you're really a foxy chick. I don't believe we met. I'm Linda, you dummy. Huh? Slender, all right. Uh, hey, wait, wait a minute. Oh, oh, wait. A minute. wait a Get home, be sure and tell your folks about us. You know, how much fun you had and, and about the camp's problem. Okay. I will. Uh, by the way, how's your father's export business doing? It's not. Huh? Thank you. Oh. oh. <laughs> I can't believe you're eating all that food. Don't worry. I've saved plenty of room to eat you for dessert, my little sugar plum. Anybody in particular in mind? Well, after eliminating the boys that you guys are interested in, I've decided on him. Him? Are you kidding? No, I'm quite serious. Hey, we, we, where are you taking us? Shut up and come with us. For the camp's sake, why don't you have them send your sister out? My sister? No way. Not with all the smoking and boozing around. How'd you like to get laid tonight? You care who it is? You sure? Oh, I see. Hey, what about me, guys? This is very special weed. It could turn a nun into a nymphomaniac. We adopt some. Hey, hey, what do I do next? What do you mean, what do I do next? Have you ever been alone with a girl before? <laughs> no. Are you shitting me? Would you cut it out and tell me what I'm supposed to do next? Hello, hello. And, uh, and uh, Wonderful water. That's the best water I ever had. It's it's clean and cool, fresh, wet, wet. Yeah.
think a slave and his mistress can ever find true happiness together? That's very possible, but uh, you don't look like a slave. Well, that's because my sheets haven't come back yet from the laundry. What's your excuse? You know, with your family's connection, I'm sure they could help us out. I don't know about that, but I'd like to help you out. How? Oh. You know, tit for tat. <laughs> Feel. Terrific. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, shit. I gotta go. Why? Never mind, don't worry. I'll be right back. Well? Uh, make, make yourself comfortable. Can I, can I get you a drink or something? Scotch straight up. Straight up it is. To us. Dress me. Sure. Okay, take me over to the bed. Hurry up. at its best. Take one. Action. Okay, doctor. You're gonna do everything I want you to do, right? Right. Okay. Kiss my fingers. Harder. Come on. Okay, that's good. I want you to bite my neck now. Ooh, my ear. Come on. Okay, that's good. Now I want you to kiss my breasts. Good. Good. Now, I know what you want and I want it too. I'm gonna walk all over you with my heels. Okay. Great. Okay, I want you to kiss my toe first. Could we talk about this for a moment or something? Come on and kiss it. How does that feel? Great. Wow, look at that. <laughs> I wonder if this is a moment Velasquez got to start. Come on, Dr. Harder. I'm going. I'm going on it. Performance. You know it. Yeah. Now let's get this equipment back like fast. Let's go. Let's go.
your attention, please. We will now view videotaped highlights of today's activities. Uh -oh. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is your announcer, Herman Sand, inviting you to join us for the first annual camp. I be net any sloppy seconds. Ooh, shit, Pam. Hey, Pam, when do I get some? It'll ruin the surprise. I don't like surprises. You'll like this one. <laughs> oh, horse, look at the stars. They're beautiful. I want to fly up to them. You gotta let me use your fan. Gee, I don't know. Come on, anything. I'll do anything for you. I gotta have it, buddy. Can I watch? Mike, don't do this to me. All right, all right. It was just an idea, just an idea. You can have it. The keys are in there. Yeah. Oh, you're a pal. You're a buddy. You're a pal. You want to go for a walk? Mrs. Samuels, I, uh, I just want to, well, I really don't know how to say this, but I. <laughs> you don't have to. I understand. You want Cindy. Yeah. I, I'm sorry, Mrs. Samuels, but I. Don't be. I'll remember our moment for a long, long time. Can we remember this together? Sure. And nothing can ever take this away from us. No. Okay. Thank you. Our chariot awaits. Uh, you mean this? Yeah, why not? You know, you ought to be on the stage. Oh, yeah, the first stage out of town. <laughs> hey, Dick, I think there's a leak in the moon bounce. I think you better go check it. Shit. Come on, everybody. Let's have a drink. We deserve it. Oh, you can say that again. Okay, come on, everybody. Let's have a drink. We deserve it. Wow, horse. They're beautiful. Isn't that the Big Dipper? Huh? The stars. Aren't they beautiful? Well, I don't see anything wrong with it. No, look inside. She likes me. She likes me not. She likes me. She likes me not. She likes me. She likes me not. Shit, no one likes me. Oh, this is number one, and we're having lots of fun. Roll me over, lay me down, and do it again. Yeah. Roll me over.
Oh, Steve. Steve. What? Oh, Steve, Mike's in trouble. What kind of trouble? Uh, his van is stuck. Come on, I'll take you to him. What's wrong? Uh, I'm going to give Mike a hand. Uh, I'll be right back. Yes, we better take your bike. It'll be a lot faster. Cindy. Cindy. Look, I, I'm sorry, okay? It was nothing. Just please don't be angry with me. I'm not angry with you, Matt. You're not? No. I'm furious. <laughs> hey, I got a great idea. What? Let's take a ride to the beach. Okay. Guess who? I don't know who. It's me. Who's me? Me. Uh, oh, oh, me. <laughs> I mean you. <laughs> Come on, Mike. For what? It's time for us to make mad, passionate, animalistic love. Uh, are you kidding? You're not kidding. She's not kidding! Where's Mike? I don't know. I don't get it. Ah, <laughs> uh, come on, Steve. Don't be so naive. Come here. Hey, look, Kim, cut the crap. I've got to get back to Linda. Well, what for? You know you'd have a much better time with me. Come on, Steve. Give it a chance, huh? Be a good girl and put your dress back on. No. Suit yourself. Back to Linda. You know you're a little bastard. How'd you find out? It's supposed to be a family secret. Oh, fuck you. It's over. What's over? The camp. It's done. Finished. The end. Period. Oh, Herman, you can be. Oh, well, it is. Only a miracle could save it now. The kids might still come. Even if they did, it wouldn't help. Oh, might be able to coast by for another year. Come on, dear, let's go to bed. things in this world besides this camp. We'll find something. You're right, and we will. Together. Hey, Herman! Have you seen Dick? No, I don't know. I'm... make out last night? Did you get any? Hey, Steve, I mean, that's personal, you know. I, I don't believe in bragging about things like that. 
Ustedes Samuels, we had a great time. You know, the guys and I had a little talk, and we decided we're going to try our darndest to help out the camp. Ah, oh, thanks, Ricky. I certainly appreciate that. Bye-bye. Well, Herman, that just about does it. We're all finished up. Okay, thanks, George. Right, right. And you'll never guess what I found. It's fantastic. Over there. Don't tell me. Let me get You discovered oil on the property, right? Absolutely. And I'm going to be a very rich man, right? Yeah, right. Well, what do you say, huh? What'd I say? I'm rich! <laughs> I'm rich! Sweet romance and the very first taste of love. 